suscríbete y activa la campanita, no lo olvides. Hey, what happened, Panda? Welcome to Reventer Burn. This is Falcon BMS in the version 4.34, and today I'm going to speak about the Jamer. I have two pods in here mounted in my plane, in all the planes. As you can see, under the wings, I have the version of the LIQ uh, Jammer pod 131. 131 and under the engine this one over here this one over here the, the, in, the, in, the, in the center that one okay uh, is the LEQ uh, 184 184 as the if the number is bigger than the other one <coughs> in theory is new something new is better than something old what of this one do you want to use the 100 84 is the better one. In Falcon BMS, uh, uh, both jammers work in the same way, only making noise in the radar, but the 184 is stronger than the 131. Okay. Jump to the cockpit. Uh, this is a very basic tutorial because uh, you only have to um, turn off or turn on the jammer to make it work. To do it, you only have to use the, the K Juliet. In your take K bar, use Juliet, and you will have Juliet on, Juliet off, on, on, off, off. As you can see, with one K, you can turn on or turn off your jammer. But the pilot in real life is using the stick and have two bottoms. Okay? Countermeasure uh, management system, TMS, down and right. Down, in this case, always is going to make turn on the jammer and right is make turn off the jammer. Why is that? Why two bottoms? Because uh, maybe you are in a combat. Oh, I have to turn the jammer on. Pound. You, are, you don't have the light inside right now, but you are in combat. Oh, jammer on, jammer on. And a few late minutes later, oh, another combat. I have to turn on again the jammer. And you push the bottom of turn on the jammer. Because you only have one bottom, you're never going to get confused or you never are going to misuse the jammer. Because if you want to turn on, you push turn on. You want to put the turn off, you push turn off. Okay? Using Juliet in your keyboard <coughs> is not going to, to work that way. It's going to be difficult because uh, you have to go and look the light. Okay, I have the jammer on. Okay, I don't have to do nothing. You have to make more steps. Okay? Uh, for anything about that, uh, I strongly recommend you use the TMS uh, up and down and right, sorry, down and right to manage the jammer. Right now I have uh, two pods of jammer. What is working right now in the BMS code? I suppose it's a stronger uh, because I have more pod, jammer pod is not going to make a stronger signal no it's uh, just a simulator and it's only one pot working in theory the stronger one okay and also is only protecting my plane if that guy over here is really stick to me really close my jammer is not going to protect that guy in real life maybe but in falcon bms it's only a a game sorry it's just a, a simulator and the code is only working in my item in my plane is not a bubble okay but in real life maybe that will work that way um, in real life it's not that easy I use the jammer turn it off turn it on but in Falcon BMS is is of course in the simple way because we don't have any information on internet to know exactly how to work with the jammer because we have here in the cockpit this panel on the left cockpit. In theory, this panel, in theory and in the practice in real life, this panel is to make the jammer have different programs to jam something in a particular way. Because in Falcon BMS only have noise radar, a uh, noise jammer signal. We don't have in bin or other techniques. Uh, we cannot use it. But in real life you have five programs and a special function in here to test or whatever, but it's not implemented in Falcon because we don't have information. Uh, I have been reader, reading on internet and I suppose this panel is working with the old pod, the 131, because I understand that the new one, the 184, 
is more automatic in that uh, program thing. I am not sure, we cannot sure, be sure about that, but anyway, we are in Falcon BMS, only turn off, turn on, and this is only culture. <coughs> of course, do not forget, do not forget to turn on the jammer. To turn on the jammer, you have also to use this switch over here. Now it's off and I cannot turn on, turn on, turn on the jammer. It's not available. But now, turn on the jammer, turn off, on, off, off, on, off, off. On. As you can see, it's working as expected. More things about the jammer is here in this panel. This one, as you can see, there is jammer on. This is going to activate the data, data link. Yes, data link, but not in the usual way between planes. <coughs> it's the data link or the link with the RWR system and the jammer. Now I have some signal in here and my jammer is on. I can turn it off. But if you know how this panel works, if I jump to semi or to auto, in auto the jammer will be turned on automatically because I have some signals in here. But because this data link thing is off, there is no communication between the systems. And now when I turn on the communication, boom, the jammer is automatically on. Okay, I don't like to have the jammer automatically on. What I love about uh, the F-18 is that the pilot has full control of the jammer because in real combat, in real combat, in Falcon combat, uh, I am not supposed in real life uh, too, it, the jammer is not only okay, turn on and that's all because in the distance, if you turn on the jammer, you are uh, telling everyone where you are approximately. Okay, you have making noise, noise with your jammer and some radar is pointing in that direction and could have the ability to read uh, signals that from jammers and okay, they, can, they don't have the power to detect you with jammer on or jammer off but with your jammer on you are telling them that hey, I am over here in that area in the north of your position, for example. For that, jammer is uh, in the distance, turn off, in, mi in range of combat, around 50 miles, 40, 30, 25, or 20, turn on. Uh, in close combat, 10 miles, 12, 30, turn off again, because your jammer is not effective again. It's is not effective because the enemy radar is so close that it's going to be able to break your jammer and have a lock on your plane. Okay, that uh, for that the jammer is not as simple as turn on, turn off. You have to have some discipline there using it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I could speak more about jammer, about techniques, but the technique is um, you know off, on, off in the basic. But for example, in combat, when you are in front on when you have the enemy at the six turn off because in that way you, uh, they is a uh, force to use the radar to guide his missiles maybe his missiles could have the ability to home on jamming and if, if you have the jammer on he could use that ability of the missile to fire at you and jump to other contact to your friend and kill your friend also Okay, for that, jammer, turn off, turn on, it's a good uh, philosophy. More techniques, uh, it's a basic one, uh, of course, but maybe there are more techniques in real life, in Falcon BMS, in my opinion, that one. When you are cold, turn off, when you are hot, turn, oh, turn on, but sometimes when you are cold, you have also to turn it on, it's not uh, one minute tutorial, sorry. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you more if you want more English video like that ones. Uh, use a comment below to whatever to tell me to ask me to whatever thing. And as a bonus track, if you keep seeing this video, the LQ Pod Jammer 184. This version in Falcon BM is not. But in real life, the modern blocks, modern updates of the of the 184. And the one uh, have the decoy 
What is the decoy? The decoy is an antenna, it's an antenna at the back of the pod that you can release and it's linked with a cable. Maybe that cable has 20, 10 meters, I don't know. Uh, I think more than 10 meters, 20 meters. And you have an antenna 10 meters behind you emitting constantly. And that antenna is going to make that the missile with, with hormone jamming go directly to the antenna instead of your plane. Okay, it's a better way to jam behind you, far away, and make the, ja the missiles that are using human jamming go to the antenna instead of you. Again, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, be happy, don't deep yourself, bye bye. No olvides suscribirte, darle a like y revisar mis últimos videos. Subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and check my other videos.